When you get a new arrival, it's always it always you always have a little bit of excitement, but apprehension at the same time. Because when you add a new animal to a group, whether, whether it be any animal, you never really know 100% how it's going to go. These things can always go wrong, but that's why we plan for them to try and prevent anything happening. So we just kept it all quite quiet and calm and just let her, in her own time, just see where she was so she gets her new surroundings and everything. Sharing the space with the cranes and the guinea fowl are a family of dictics, a small species of antelope usually found in eastern and southern Africa. So we've got a breeding pair and one young. Um, the Drax, the male, he's the dad. Uh, female's called Grace and then Going off the Drax theme, uh, the sun's called Rocket <laughs> from Guardians of the Galaxy. I have a little bit of a, a, a concern with the new female coming in because at the moment we've still got our young male who is the offspring of the, the original pair. There is a potential issue that if they do pair up, we could have conflict between the new pair and the original pair. Dick Dick's mate for life, and couples wouldn't normally share territory with other pairs. Uh, Dick Dick don't generally tend to fight. What they tend to do is run at each other, and just as they get close to each other, kind of head flap, and then they walk away, and then the distance gets uh, closer and closer each time until one of them decides, no, I've had enough, you're bigger than me, go away. For Rocket, it'll soon be time to leave the zoo. A perfectly natural event, most Dick Dicks only stay with their parents until they're six months old. He's now uh, four months old, um, so he'll be with his mum and his dad for uh, probably another you know, couple of months before we look to move him off to go somewhere else. Whilst young Dick Dicks leave the family at a young age, the older couples are in it for the long run, and they have a very unique way of showing it. The female will go to the toilet and then the male will then come and do it on top of the females and then because it's on top of the females, the smells are there and when she comes over she'll smell him and he'll smell her and it's just, it just reaffirms that bond. All animals have different ways of expressing love, let's put it that way. Um, some not so pleasant, some pleasant. The new female Dick Dick is called Noodles and has come from a zoo in the Cotswolds. Noodle's introduction to her new home must be done slowly so as not to overwhelm her. You do steps by steps. What we did first was we let her out into the wee catching pen first where she could actually see the outside of the acronavery and see all the other dick dick. And then we thought, oh, we'll just go for it because she seemed quite settled. How they would react um, was completely unknown to us. You do have, again, that slight chance that they might react adversely to her. But eventually, young male Rocket comes over to investigate. What do you say? It's a new girl in town. That was really good, that. That was the <laughs> female. <meal. laughs> Definitely keen <laughs> on his new girlfriend. <laughs> Rocket tries to make a move. Oh. I think you just got told off there, Boyle. <laughs> a few weeks later, and there's been a change of plans. Young male Rocket is still at the zoo. So after all our concerns about what was going to happen when Noodle arrived, actually what happened was completely opposite. Within three or four days of them being together, uh, Rock, we actually saw Rocket attempting to mate the new female. But the unexpected thing is they're actually all living together nicely as a four. Uh, they still share the same house. They use the same toilet again, which is quite weird. Um, and yeah, they've been living together quite happily together for the last couple of months. <laughs> 